<laughs> my alter ego, his name is Daniel, and oh. he's from Manchester. Oh, whoa. And he has a little British accent. <laughs> Nice. That's cool. And it's actually... <laughs> I'm sorry, it, it's, I think you suffer from a mental illness. Yo, in what world do you go on a date and present yourself as someone that has an alter ego that just so happened to be a man and you think the dude gonna be interested? Come on, bro, let's use common sense. How do you identify? Actually, I identify as uh... Oh, here we go, it's that long plethora of, what? oh my God. Wait. A few moments later. I will, let me get a chair. <laughs> Homo, romantic, pansexual. pansexual. I love all genders, actually, but dating-wise, romantically, I'm only attracted to men. Are you straight or bisexual? Do you like older women? Yes, I do. What kind of shit is that? Hey, bro, at this point in time, bro, we might as well get our passports and move to a country where they got some sense at this point, dog. Because they is just running amok today, dog. I am pretty much a kitten 24-7. Kitten. Yeah. Come. Hey yo, what the fuck? I have a lot of trans friends. If they were dead named, it would be shattering to them. I think it's very wrong. Gotcha. A few moments later. Well, why do names matter so much? It's not as deep as you think it is. It's just a title. Jesus Christ. They were dead named. It would be shattering to them. I think it's very wrong. Well, why do names matter so much? Yo, you know, I'm a science major, right? Biology, chemistry, mathematics, and everything like that. And you know, naming things and classifying things properly is a big component of science and math, bro. It's called nomenclature when you're talking about chemistry, right? You have hierarchies in like biology. You have the, you know, it's a whole lot of time and effort that went into classifying things properly. Only for us to be in 2024 and people classifying themselves however the hell they want to, man. It's crazy if you ask me. I'm probably a little crazy. Nah, hold on there, Freckles. Are you an influencer? One day? Yeah. Well, I think you should probably not be in coming Georgia if you want to be an influencer. I know. Am I going to be in the background of freaking What the fuck is your issue, bro? You need to leave that dope alone. Now, it is annoying when you have to try to be aware of walking in somebody's camera site because they're trying to set up their camera to do whatever routine they finna do. But at the same time, I think he did overreact a little bit, man. Like, it wasn't that serious. You know, I just make sure that I don't look at them any kind of way because, man, I don't want to be no internet dude like, this guy was checking me out, man. That's that's annoying. I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't finna approach no woman doing all that, bro. You know? You look like you got your ears pierced at Claire's. When you were 14. I didn't know that you can get mad at You look like a future trailer park mom with three kids and no father. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, bro, you shouldn't throw rocks if you live in a glass house, dog. It's that simple. <laughs> I'm really upset because literally this man just brung me on a date and he's not paying for anything. Sir, you don't have to go to police. Sir. Oh my god, they about to call the police on me right now. You were supposed to be paying for this, and you're mad because I'm not what? You're not sucking OD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not paying for, I'm not paying for nothing Sir. if you ain't sucking OD. Okay, I can give you my ID and I can come back tomorrow and pay for everything. I don't know what this nigga is. I'm sorry. We have a policy here. Okay, you brought me on a day, okay? Put your hand down. Put your, uh, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Hey, hey, man. That's what you need to do. Well, listen, put your hands down. I you quit talking to me. No. Quit talking to me because. You need to make every inch disappear or. Hey, you know, uh, let's be real, dog. If you brought the girl out there on a date and everything like that, you know, and it was understood that you was gonna pay, you probably should just pay. But forget all that, man. Y'all know why she going so hard? Cause she literally don't have no money. Like, for real. She ain't got no money, dog. A woman who had some money and can go ahead on and pay the bill would have paid that bill, probably called him everything but a child of God, and got up out of there. Real talk. And then be like, man, that's why I can't stand these old bum ass niggas and all that. But she literally don't have the money. Like, some of these women use dates as a, a way to eat, or they ain't got no food at home, dog. I'm telling you, I, this lady is broke, bro. <laughs> That's funny as hell, bro. She big mad. She don't got the money to pay for that date. She gonna try to figure out how to get the money, but she ain't got it right now. I recently was going on dates with a man and nice guy, good guy. Treated me well, 
But once I realized that he was not my husband, because I'm only looking for husband energy at the moment, husband I energy. ended things with him, told him that I didn't see it going any further. He agreed. He said that he didn't think that he could make me happy. And while I appreciate that, it was a very kind response. He didn't even try. He didn't even try and say that he like wanted to change, that he wanted to like whatever. You're incapable of running this shit. Like, I can be manipulated. I will listen to you. <laughs> You didn't even try. Yeah, bro. Only a woman would do some crazy shit like that. You know, I know a girl who actually fake broke up with a dude and he was like, all right, cool. And she was like, I was playing, but he didn't want to fight for me. And she made a big deal about it. Like, stop playing stupid games and you won't win stupid prizes. It's really that simple. Like, man, come on now. Y'all making up these fake scenarios in y'all mind and stuff. Like, you don't get to have your cake and eat it too. You don't get to break up with the guy and be mad that he didn't fight. Come on, bro. Good day, my car broke down and I literally had no one to call. I have to think of food to cook myself every single night for dinner. When I get sick, I can't just cry to my mom and have her make me make soup. I have to freaking pick up the phone and call the doctor and make my own appointment. Word of advice, live with your parents and freeload off them for as long as you can. Or get a man to pay for literally everything because, honey, this independent bad bitch shit is not as fun as it seems. Trust and believe. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm more like Miss Independent. I don't need no man. Until now. I'm 40 years old. Oh, damn. I'm tired. And I'm sick to death of mowing and whippersnipping my yard. It Accusations! It just never stops. It never stops growing. It's like a jungle. I've had enough. I have two options. I either move out of this house and move into a unit that's all concrete with no yard or, or I get married. Hey, that's what happened when you think life a joke, bro, and you don't listen to the people before you. Real talk, life ain't easy. All that kind of stuff. Life is a struggle for everybody, bro. We got to stay on top of our game so that we don't fall from grace, dog. It's that simple. Man, any wrong move can send us to the poorhouse. <laughs> and y'all want to do it all by yourself? Oh, man. It's enough having it, you know, by yourself, having to figure everything out. You know, common sense say, man, get with somebody who's going to be a winner. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that can help you navigate this thing called life. Y'all be trying to figure it out on your own and y'all don't even got no navigation, bro. Like, come on. In my experience, the men who were attractive and they made a lot of money, tall, dark, handsome, clean cut, those were the worst men to date. And they top 10 we go viral. You were they were the worst men to date because they had a mentality that I can get any woman I want, therefore I don't have to try as hard. Because they know that no matter what, there are going to be women who fall to their knees for a pair of designer heels. Head over heels. <laughs> Yeah, bro, they got that abundance mindset, bro. You know, every time I lose one, I bounce back with two. That's how they feel, you know? Hey, when the man got that type of confidence, that scares women. You know, on that Pop the Balloon show, I noticed that a lot of men who the women find to be attractive, they pop the balloon off the rip because they already know what it's hitting for. They not gonna be the center of his universe. They won't be placed up on a pedestal or none of that. And that is troubling to a lot of women. The one thing I like really love to do in the bedroom is give head. OJ like. Wow. Huh. So I played ice hockey in college, so I used to send videos of myself doing that to bananas to my teammates until I perfected my craft. Wow. You gotta practice. Practice makes perfect. Have you ever had a challenge where the guy's like, look, I'm not really a guy that fi finishes to it? Have I you hear that all the time. Whatever. I don't believe it. And so then it does, it gives me a mental orgasm when I know I make them finish from giving them head. I say, Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh my God. I love to give heads. In that bed, I don't play no whole lot of games now. <laughs> I love receiving it. That's awesome. <laughs> How long do you last? I think a good amount of time. I don't know. I haven't timed before. Have you timed your... But you finished from head. I, I finished like two or three times in my life. <gasps> Not a lot. Well, you are with the Tom Brady of head. Whoa.
Hey man, shout out to her and the Hawk 2 girl. And shout out to her dad, because I know he's very proud of her, bro. He know he raised his daughter right on stage, bragging about how she'll make a man, you know what I'm saying, lose his mind with her mouth. Oh man, that's every dad's dream right there for his daughter to get on stage and say that type shit. A few moments later. All right, y'all, today's video is sponsored by me. Listen, I created a school community where I'm going to basically be giving y'all the game on how to grow a YouTube channel, how to get an existing YouTube channel, Channel from plateauing and all kind of things of that nature. We're going to be going live having Q&A on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 p.m. Central Time to about 9.30 Central Time. If that sounds like something you're going to be interested in, you might want to click the link, which I will leave pinned in the comments and in the description. On top of that, I will be bringing in guest speakers. And speaking of guest speakers, the first guest speaker is going to be Coffee and Whiskey. This is going to happen sometime in August. He's going to be there to tell you how he was able to take his channel from zero subscribers to over 46,000 subscribers in almost under a year and how he's making a six figure income from YouTube all the while working a full-time job still going to the gym doing everything else that he has to do and making this thing work so if that sounds like something you want to be a part of hit the link and i look forward to meeting y'all lord have mercy jesus hey but hey some women gotta be that woman bro you know y'all got a lot of good men through some tough times you know he was ready to give up but what you brought to the table gave him the strength to fight another day so y'all do have a place in society i don't want to shame y'all shun you or anything like that i'm just saying two things can be right at the same Time. But how do you feel about um the cougar error? This gonna trip you up. Okay. Oh, the men don't want older women. Who we supposed to date? Well, I be done. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want us now when you put it like that they don't want us who's left and then you get a 21 year old that's like oh my god you look so good oh my god he treating you like yeah you. okay she is your queen <laughs> to me like <laughs> what you dang on right older men don't want older women i have a hard time believing that older men genuinely see younger women and think mm, this is my romantic equal yeah <laughs> like yeah. i don't think you think that about a 22 year old sir winston <laughs> oh, charles I agree. <laughs> I agree. Think back if you can. Don't say, don't say anything out loud. Just you gotta have a little bit more faith in these young kids today. Think about what you were doing at 21. Don't say nothing. See, look at your face. Look at your face. You see what I'm talking about? You don't know yourself enough. You're naive. You're immature. You have no business dating somebody who can buy houses and such and flip properties. Hey, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. You know, most women want a man that can protect, provide, and lead. Now, what is a 21 going to do for the average woman? What a 21-year-old man finna do for the average woman? He's still trying to figure out life. Now you got a woman who's still trying to figure out life because she even thinking about entertaining you. She ain't got her shit together. So you now you got two people who don't know what the hell going on in the realm of life dealing with each other it's a lose-lose situation down there now there's upside for the dude as long as he don't get her pregnant or marry her you know he gets to have an experienced woman who don't do all of the stuff that the young women do these women know how to really turn a man on because they're so experienced right he gonna be getting look balls to the wall the whole time right cool he got a good back he young she older she want that thing knocked loose and the older guys ain't trying to do it i ain't mad at her <laughs> Hey, them young dudes be liking to hit them older women, but they don't be taking them serious. Yeah, you'll be hard pressed to find a young man, 21 years old, like, yeah, I can see me going a distance with this 41 year old woman. Come on, man, let's be real, dog. It don't work like that. As a single man, uh -huh. uh, what are some of the turnoffs that you're coming across in the dating scene? I think the main thing is like a lack of trust, mm -hmm. you know, in lack of trust that can start whether typically at the beginning of the date, you know, the dating phase or somewhere in the middle. Whereas where typically I find that women are not as comfortable with taking instruction or direction when it comes to where we're going and how we're doing it. Um, really? Because yeah. the ladies are complaining that the guys are not being creative enough and not establishing the plan and not executing. Huh? And you're saying it's... My thing is, if it's the first few days, I mean, how creative creative do we got to be? Mm -hmm. I don't even know you, mm -hmm. so I'm not doing too much with you anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if well, we're going on a walk in the park and some coffee, and I'm telling you what the weather the looks coffee. like outside, what you should wear. Not see, the coffee. That's what I see. <laughs> see? Come on, come on. We can get some... Coffee's not a good day? So what I advise my clients is to redirect when a gentleman offers them a coffee. Date. And that's what I wow. mean. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Uh, That's what I'm uh, and I advise that if she redirects, 
she ain't the one. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I've been seeing. You know, uh, a lot of women just don't understand the logic, though. Like, a man who's dating, he's having to weed the ones out who ain't worth a damn. And if she's redirecting you from coffee to, like, a more expensive restaurant and things of that nature, then her value system is something you may not want to be a part of. Her value system might be a man that she can control, manipulate, and misuse. Real talk, because they know what they be doing, dog. And on top of that, they ain't going to respect no man who going to bend to their will anyway. Like, ma'am, I don't know you right now. You know, we can go sit down and have this coffee. If this one goes well, then yeah, we can go get dinner next time. But, you know, what if that coffee date, y'all realize y'all ain't vibing? Now this man out two, three hundred dollars had he brought you to a restaurant. But, you know, the coffee date, his investments was low. He might have spent 15 to 20 dollars on the coffee date. If y'all got a pastry or something, it might be 30 dollars, which is way cheaper than going out on a date to a restaurant just to find out you're not compatible with this woman. Come on, man. It seems smart to go to the coffee date or something cheap. Y'all, look at this. Why can't you trust your partner? I was drunk and let them run a train on me. Huh? But I was so drunk, you can't blame me. My heart goes out to you. I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is with this generation. You guys make me so sick. This is making me so emotional. I don't think you guys understand how bad it is to get cheated on and what it does to your mindset. And because men don't have an outlet and because men don't get to escape and ex express their emotions to people, this is why men get so fucked over so you're a victim oh. this girl is one million percent right you know the lack of accountability i hear this shit all the time i want to tell you guys one thing alcohol is the truth juice okay so if your girl is using alcohol as a crutch as an excuse for what she did i hear this shit all the time ow she cheated on me when she was drunk it didn't matter it did matter she did that she put herself in that situation she wherever she was she was hanging out with those dudes she did that to herself you know what i'm saying she drank the alcohol she knew what was going on I'm telling you, when I, when I could be fucking blackout drunk and still know that what I'm doing is wrong. All the way. There's no question in my mind. Leave. You need to respect yourself enough. I know men that will stay. Oh, I love her so much. We get it, man. I love her. I, I love girls, too. And I guess what? I had to let them go just like you did. Just like you have to. It's hard, man. It hurts a lot, but I'm telling you, once you turn to God and you realize that, like, he wouldn't let you be in that situation, he wouldn't want you in that situation, your whole life's gonna get a lot better because you're gonna put yourself in situations. Say, bro, I don't even take a woman who drink a lot serious no way because that's gonna always be a way out for them. That's gonna be a get out of jail free call for them, especially if you're a weak man. You be simping hard like that. Oh, I'm sorry. You right, babe. You sorry. I shouldn't be so hard on you, man. You made a mistake type of nigga. Nah, hell no, nah, bro. A woman that drink a lot gonna always make a lot of bad decisions. And even if she don't make bad decisions, she gonna put herself in a situation at some point in time that's gonna compromise your well-being, bro. You just can't deal with it, dog. Having a few drinks every other day here and there type shit is cool. Y'all go out on y'all a date. Y'all get y'all a little wine. You know, whatever. But man, I'm talking about the woman that drinks five, six drinks a day. That's a real alcoholic, dog. Like, I work with women like that. You know, every day after work, we go to the bar. They drink. And I'm talking about doubles knocking them back. It's to the point where some of them hands, they couldn't keep their hands straight. You know that alcoholism that I'm talking about when they got the jitters and everything like that? And they was the main ones cheating on their men. Real talk, man. Y'all better start listening to me, dog. I got a lot of experience that I've seen with my own two eyes. I don't hear this from other people. I've seen it firsthand. You cut your locks in an African household. Mommy, do you want to see a surprise? You want to see a surprise? You want to see a surprise? Bro, real talk, man. Like, real talk. I know for a fact when, especially like other races of people see the little black boys with the dreadlocks, they already thinking they ain't up to no good, even though this might be the most well-mannered, uh, happy-go-lucky, chipper, smart, make good grades, hardworking, lovable child in the freaking world, bro. But that's not how the world looks at that. So when the mama was all excited, I know that's why she was excited because people are going to take her son more serious when he has the low cut. And that's a sad thing because...
because we shouldn't live in a world where that's the case. But man, let's be real, dog. When people see them dreadheads, it has a stereotype that goes with that. Either you smoke weed or you in the streets. A lot of people feel that way, bro. So personally, I wouldn't want my son to have dreads, but I'm not going to stop him from getting them once he become a certain age. Like, if you want them, you want them, but you've been warned. Believe that. Straight up. You know, I believe in giving kids autonomy, but at a later age. Right now, he got to do everything I tell him to do. But once he starts to come up, then, you know, we'll have that conversation then.